con los terroristas. I'm Anthony. I'm John. And this is the Dynamic Buzz. Every Tuesday, we bring you the latest in comic book news along with our suggestions of comics you, pick, you should pick up this week. We have a, yeah, we have a ton of news this week. and yeah. uh, Like I think, always. Like always, but today I feel like a little bit more than usual. It's kind of the same. On. It's kind of the same. All right, John, you're kind of dancing my style. <laughs> so, let's get started. First right. of all, <clears throat> go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're you you're running it. the That's show right now. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm, just, uh, I'm just the guy who talks. All right. Well, since I'm this is my show now. Um, all last week we reported that Jeff John saw Green Lantern. Yes, I know it's sad, but now it's reported that it was like a day after we, you know, we shot and stuff that uh, all the Green Lantern writers are gone now, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. Like, you know, I understand Jeff John's just leaving because. Just because he wants to leave, but well, he's why? Been there. He was there for like twelve years. No, yeah, I said I understand. I understand. No, yeah, I understand oh, okay. what you're saying. I'm saying yeah, oh, like, okay, okay. Dude, I don't know why every, not everyone else else wants to jump ship. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, he's allowed to retire from the Green Lantern if he wants to. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of weird that these guys would leave now. I don't understand that. Yeah, I think they're just, I guess, with the whole new reboot and other jobs being open, it open. Some people just want. Like Green Lantern Corps compared to New Guardians, it's a completely different ball game. Yeah. I can see people wanting to. Going to change their their limitations. Well, I guess the 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 thing that's supposed to happen now, rumors are, is that the writer of Green Lantern Corps is Peter Tomasi. I think mm -hmm. that's how you say it. He's rumored to replace um, Jeff Johns. Well, uh, in May is when we see you know they're all going to be leaving, and they have people writing for them now. They've released that and stuff, but. Supposedly, they're not supposed to be the actual writers. They're just like temporary writers, you know, until they figure everything out. Mm -hmm. But Peter Tomasi is supposed to be the new Green Lantern writer, which he's wrote some Batman and Robin. Really? Yeah. And I don't know. I think that would be fine. I don't. I don't read chorus. You like it though, don't you? I don't really read chorus. Oh. <laughs> chorus when I look on the shelf, it yeah. ties in. I. I. It, it's gonna be weird. I don't. It's going to be weird just reading these books and, you know, Jeff John's not involved. But. I think for Green Lantern Corps, this is a great move. I think for New Guardians, I think yeah. this is a bad, bad idea. Not that he's not a good writer, I just, I didn't enjoy, I just didn't enjoy Core that much. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I don't know, like like I always say, we'll see. Um, usually I'm proven wrong when I announce stuff on the show, mm -hmm. so I hope I'm wrong. So to no more Jeff Johns to no more Ultimate Spider-Man. Miles Morales. Yeah, uh, Marvel just released a just one image of Miles walking down an alley, and his Spider-Man suit is in the garbage. Yeah. It seems like he's hanging up the suit. It's a familiar scene, or a familiar image that you saw in Amazing Spider-Man twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. <laughs> I don't know. You want me to say I? I, I'm asking I, you didn't, guys. I didn't look the numbers. I didn't look at the numbers. I didn't really uh, research that before this. So I should have. So, but sorry. We'll put something on the screen once we figure out what it is. <laughs> We're unprepared. God, okay. Well, that, that's the spy. <laughs> that's the Spider-Man issue. And also, if you are familiar with Spider-Man Two with Tobey Maguire, that scene's also shown when he decides that he doesn't want to use Spider-Man anymore. He throws it in the trash can. You did not just bring. I like Spider-Man too. I just can't believe you just brought it. I, I, I don't, don't want to talk about it, but I'm just saying, <laughs> shitty movie. Yeah. Well, no, I, I like number two. The other ones are crappy. No. Number three was bad. Yes. I think number three ruined it from other one. But going on, anyway, we're talking about Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm just saying that that image is used in in Spider-Man. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is supposed to be issue number twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, twenty three, and then also I think it's hinted that you know how there's different uh, different spiders. Different spiders. Supposedly Each we're gonna spider start. Had back. Yeah. Supposedly we're gonna supposed to be getting more Spider Men or Spider Women. 
Woman. Yay. Yeah. No, but really, that'd be, <laughs> I mean, one Spider Woman we have right now is yeah. and it's her own person. But no, I just think that uh, I think it'd be kind of cool. I, I wouldn't be fond of there being a ton of Spider Man everywhere. So now it's like Spider Man Incorporated. Because that's kind of what I feel like will happen. Yeah. Um, it'd be cool, like, if it was people got bit with different spider abilities, they were here for a second, and then they lost their powers due to something, and only Miles kept or his. Or there was just, like, villains. Like, there were villains. Or, yeah, but at know. the same time, we understand that we're not just talking about just a singular title. This Ultimate Spider-Man links to the entire Ultimate Marvel Universe, and then there would just be a ton of different... It's our benefit we have a ton of superheroes anyway. Now it's just yeah. like, oh, we have one Spider-Man. Now there's a new Spider-Man. Plus the now 14 other Spider-Men that are in New York. And the X-Men are like, what the heck is this? Yeah. This is our team. <laughs> We're the only ones supposed to have a team in this universe. Word. Yeah. And then Wolverine's all angry. He throws his claws around. Yeah, but I will. I doubt that he actually hangs up his suit for long. It's just a gimmick. But it still looks pretty cool. It's, and it's, yeah, it's a slow series, but everyone loves Miles. Everyone yeah. likes the story. Everyone likes the plot. You know. Especially with Venom Wars going on. But yeah, so uh, we'll move on to a little bit of different news. Yeah, this, uh, if you guys don't want to hear spoilers about, this is about Batman Incorporated. You've probably, I don't know, you've probably seen it online already. This is not really a spoiler, but I guess it kind of is. So if you don't want to watch this. Um, Mute your screen now. And we'll put right here in a box right here, a little, little annotation. Uh, skipping this whole clip to the next one. So, yeah, um, I guess we'll get started with this one. Uh, Batman Incorporated, number eight, the cover got leaked online. And this is by the same bastard that leaked Amazing wow, Spider Man. Watch how they leaked this show. <laughs> Amazing Spider Man, number 700. And it, if you've seen it, it's it's pretty crazy. It's, it's uh, Damien. Um, Guy's kind of shaped like a bat, I guess you'd say. He's in his Robin costume. Mm -hmm. At the bottom, it says uh, R.I.P. and then Robin symbol. Robin symbol. And that's that's pretty big. What if you but, know, but, Damien dying here? But at the same time, I mean, we've seen so many different things. We've seen, you know, like with Death of the Family, Joker dancing with Batman's costume. Yeah. And, you know, it's... The title's always... You know, it's the, it's the advertisement. You're not mm -hmm. really going to get what you... Well, supposedly everything Grant Morrison's been writing for, you know, ever since the beginning of Batman Incorporated, it, it's gonna lead, it leads up all to this big issue, you know. They told all the comic book shops to, you know, double up on this issue because this is gonna be pretty big and, you know, possibly see Damien dead. Uh, I read something online. Oh, that, <laughs> I read something online. This is the thing. I read something online. What if the R and R.A.P. is just to rest in peace to the Robin character, and Damien becomes something else. Like, he becomes... Bat boy. Yeah. Bat lad. <laughs> I don't know. He becomes the same <laughs> thing, or becomes Batman. I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's rest in peace to Batman, and he becomes a Batman. I don't, I don't know. No. It, it's hard to... Batman Incorporated is such a... is a side, side story. I don't know. It's hard to tell from a cover of what you think is going to happen, but it's, it's nice to sit around and act like you know what's going to go on. Yeah, but I mean, it's definitely exciting to pick up. The, this releases in two weeks. I think it's the 28th, the last week of February that it releases. So, mm -hmm. you know, definitely going to be picking this up yeah. and seeing what's going to happen. Definitely going to read when you pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're done with comic book news. Uh, our next news involves <laughs> video game news. And for the first time. Yep, for the first time ever on the Dynamic Buzz. Here are, is our video game news. Go. <laughs> All right. Well, for those of you who enjoyed the Batman Arkham games, like Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, get ready for Arkham 3. They did not give us an environment like Arkham Zone, Arkham Universe, Arkham World, Arkham Super City, Arkham Complex. Coming to you the end of 2013. Okay, boy, they just played that way for me. Anyway, yes, three big points are it's coming out at the end of this year. The other big point is Rock City will no longer be doing it, which is a bummer, for, I feel like, for a lot of us. Yeah, I, when I heard that, I was totally under, and uninterested into it, because Rock City's made just two great games, and what's going to happen when they just bring in someone random? It's and, not even bring someone random. I'm not saying that they're going to go out and pick, like, you know, someone who makes games that they sell, like, Kohl's and Walmart, but, like, it's going to be, it's not going to be the same quality. Yeah. 
the consistency will be different. Uh, it, I just don't think it'll be. It won't be fun. Plus, I hate games that go back. Yeah, yeah. Because this, this is going to be face. It's going to be focused more on the Silver Age Batman. Well, the rumor is. The that's, rumor. Yeah, it's supposed to be in the Silver Age when Batman first meets Joker, which we've already done Joker I, in Arkham. Yeah. I, I'm kind of not that I don't like Joker. Like, believe me, I think that's a, he's a great character and everything. But at the same time, why are we going to beat this dead horse? <laughs> that's what I was intended. Yeah. Uh, but and then another thing is Justice League is supposed to be involved in it too. Which the the rumor is is the reason they bring the Justice League just to get people interested in the Justice League movie. That's not going to happen, and and then also bring in people that like other Justice League characters into this universe to play it. I feel like it would make more sense instead of Justice League to bring in like the Outsiders or even the Bat Family. Let's let's start a little closer to home before we decide to. I mean, yeah, we got a taste of. I don't have to stop saying taste. We got a feel. I say feel. We got to see Nightwing. And Robin, and you get to know about Oracle. I mean, it'd be cool if we kind of expanded upon that to the point where it was like, oh, well, here's the Bat Family, and from the Bat Family, here are the Outsiders, and then the Justice League. I just, I mean, because we'll be jumping from meeting, meeting all these characters to meeting just, they might just be Batman. This might be before Dick Grayson. No, it, we would get Dick, Dick Grayson, but. Silver Age, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know. Know. Yeah, but I don't like this idea. Supposedly, this Rocksteady is still making a game, but it's going to be released next year. That's what the this is all just rumors right now. We don't know what's going on. People are just not happy about Rocksteady not making this game. So maybe the Rocksteady came out and said we are not being involved with this game. This game, though. So it means that they could possibly well, because make they want quality. They want yeah. like you know, give us a good game instead of rushing it out yeah, for money. That's, that's probably all just Warner Brothers rushing all this stuff that out. Be. Yeah. Oh, but it just so happens they got rid of Young Justice. Whatever. We're not and they go. got rid of Green Lantern. <laughs> We're not going on this rant. But yeah, there's going to be a game in 2013. It's probably not going to be as good as the past two games, but yeah, that's all we got for you right now in video games. So, yeah. um... On to a little TV movie news. Uh, I'm this, excited about this. Yeah, this exact this happened last week. We just had so much news we couldn't fit it in. It was just Arrow is getting a second season. Dos. Which is pretty awesome because we both really, really love Arrow. Love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, everybody knew it's one of the most popular new TV shows on yeah. TV. Next and to Supernatural, a Vampire Diaries. Supernatural is not new. I said not. Oh, I was talking about like the series that's coming oh, yeah, out. Oh yeah, yeah. CW. That's the the top shows right and now. Beauty right? and the Beast. That won't last very long. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's you know it's going really well. We don't really know anything about season two right now besides it's coming out. But things to get excited for coming up is where Harper is going to be in the next episode. He's going to be the next episode, but in season two he's also going to be a reoccurring character. Yeah. Oh. So, I hope he's a recurring character from after this episode. I know he will be because if it's this episode, he might leave and then come back in season two and then mm-hmm. be off. Because I know uh, Laurel, her mom is supposed to come. Yeah, in. The and that episode would make after sense. the it's the episode after, and also Jeff Johns is writing that episode too. That's pretty exciting. Because Jeff Johns has always been about the just society, and since she was a, one of the original members of the just society, it would make sense that she'd be included in this. Yeah, hopefully he writes a lot more. Hopefully that when she talks, shit. It's not going to be, Laura's going to be the first Black Canary, it's not going to be. But she's going to be a vigilante, she's not going to have powers. And that's what kind of irritates me, like, if we're going to do a show that's kind of based in this real world, aside from the fact that some guy can shoot tennis balls with a bow and arrow, Mm -hmm. I think, if we're not going to add superpowers, yeah, keep it to a... a Well, you're just going to have, keep, it's going to get boring, because you're just going to have... Just the same characters that are all just really good at fighting and nothing else. They don't have anything else. Yeah, but I mean, then don't don't bring her in. Yeah. Bring in someone else. We'll see though. That Black Canary will be a long time from now, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, another thing is Amazing Spider-Man Two. It seems like we're talking about it every single week. But um, Mark of Smart, he wants to keep everyone constantly. And involved in winning more, but let's get to yeah, this news. Yeah, it's a um, Mark Webb has been teasing stuff on Twitter, just taking little pictures and stuff. And this time he posted a video, and it's just a bunch of it looks like audio interference or you know sound interference. But 
there's a flash of like um, Spider-Man's new glass. Um, That's like his, his eyes. His eyes. His um, which the, you can just tell by the picture. It's just it's bigger and wider. Which that's what the you know what the Amazing Spider-Man character really looks like. He has the bigger eyes. Which I think it's kind of that we're basing on the Amazing on the Amazing Spider-Man, but the story seems to be Ultimate. Uh, it's all joined together now. I think yeah, he's just taking the best out of both Ultimate and Amazing and seeing what you can do. I honestly, I think I liked his eyes the way they were. I feel like they were orange. I think it was pulling because of the lenses because they're sunglasses. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Now that it's amazing too, uh, you know, it's a you know, time has passed and he's just getting smarter now and he's making a better suit for him. Oh, yeah, he's gonna yeah. find he's gonna find that group in China. Or yeah, Japan that makes him a suit. Yeah, that's so, cool. Yeah, and then another big, I don't know. This could possibly just be you know a joke or something. He posted a picture of a locker that has a number fourteen on it. You know what that means? It means Venom, possibly. Because, um, and they also, t or hashtag it, happy birthday. Well, Venom, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Venom was, first appeared in Spider-Man comics in 1988. And the, that, the same day he tweeted this. Yeah, that's so. 25 years ago. Yeah. So it would be the 25th birthday of Venom, technically. So that could be what he's saying, happy birthday, hashtag happy birthday. Or it could have been a happy birthday to Dane V. Han, who will be playing in Harry Osborn in the new movie. So it could be a happy birthday to him, or it could be a happy birthday to Venom, or it could be both, or it could be saying that Harry's going to be Venom. Or it could say that Venom's going to be the next one. Or it could just be him messing with people because he knows he can and people would read into this. Yeah, or, yeah, like he just happened to come across and know that date and just put that just to because you mess see the, with people. Because the Locker 14 that you see in the tweet is also what Peter and, um, not Peter and Harry, Peter and Eddie Brock find in an Oscorp lab, and that just happens to be the same thing, but they haven't introduced, uh, what's his name yet? Eddie. What's his name? Eddie. Yeah. Uh, I doubt Venom will be in the next one, <laughs> and especially because in number three, they practically ruined Venom as a character. This yeah, one, I feel like this would be their way of, of fixing that. Like, I feel like Mark Webb's done a good job trying to fix what, you know, yeah. like the first time they came in with X-Men, they, they, I mean, first class, they tried to fix everything that they yeah. messed up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it would be too much bringing um, bringing in Venom in this one. I, I've, like they've already brought so many characters. Possibly Rhino, you got Electro, um, all kinds of these characters, and then you bring in Venom. That's the same problem that was wrong with Spider-Man number three. Yeah. Was that they had so many of these no terrible Spider characters. number three was bad because there was a musical in it. That's why it was bad. I don't even remember that. I do, but I don't think it's a big deal. And, but if you guys can, Spider-Man 3, don't watch it. Yeah. Okay, and then, you know, possible Venom to com from confirmed Felicia Jones, we reported like two weeks ago, is now officially on the cast. And there's just rumors of her being Black Cat. Or, he's finally got the name right. Betty Brat. Betty Brat. Not Brat, sorry. <laughs> Brant. God, <laughs> there we go. Uh, Betty Brant. Brant. Who is that? That is J. Jonah Jameson's assistant at the Bugle. Which could mean that Peter's going to start working at the Bugle instead yeah. of just seeing him in the newspaper. And like we said last week, uh, Paul Giamatti, it might be, everybody thinks he's playing the Rido, but he might be, you know, Jameson. So that's just something, you know, all kinds of stuff. This movie's not coming out until, like, next year, but talking every week about it, and it's, it's giving me a headache right Pretty now. Pretty soon, by episode 17 of the Dynamic Buzz, we'll have the entire movie plotted out for you. <laughs> or completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, on to this, to some news we haven't talked about. It's kind of weird that this we haven't talked about. I'm not, yeah. I'm kind of losing interest in this movie anyway. What are you talking about? This is exciting news. Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, there's been tons of news coming out about that, but we haven't talked about it here. That just, one thing after another, just making this movie great. They're, you know, the first three X-Men movies, well, the first two were okay. Third one was terrible. Um... Uh, but they made just X, all the X-Men, everything jumbled up, everything crap, but supposedly in this movie everything's going to be pieced together, and it's going to be awesome, you know. They're bringing out, they're bringing back a bunch of original cast just to make everything right, mm -hmm. and earlier this week they confirmed that Peter Dinklage, uh, the small person, the little person, 
yeah. He is... He's going to be in the cast now. And he's... The guy from... Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. That's yeah. who it is. Yeah. If you can't tell who he is, then shame on you. Yeah, but um, he is going to be in X-Men Days of Future Past. And supposedly Brian Singer, the uh, director, said he's going to play a really important role in it. Really? And supposedly a lot of people, before this villain thing came out, they thought he'd be Puck, which is a really kind of a no-name character that nobody really knows about. He's like a Canadian... Um, Mutant that's pretty good. That was in like this alpha team. I I really he don't know much. I don't really know much about him. But now everything is just he's supposed to be a villain, and maybe he's like a made up villain. I don't know. I don't know. This is this is gonna be crazy to see what he's playing. But this is the first like, is this the first character that's brand new? I think this might be the first character that's announced that's not a returning character from any of the other movies. But, I don't know, this should be good. So far, he's, a, yeah. he's a very, very good actor. Mm-hmm. Um, he played a villain, and I think it was an underdog. <laughs> Have you seen Underdog? No. It was like a really, really crappy animated movie. You knew Underdog is, right? Oh, Wonder Dog. No, Underdog. Right? Wonder Dog? Underdog. It's a, it was a cartoon. Oh, a cartoon, okay. It was yeah. a cartoon, but it was made into like an animation, like you know how they've done Smurfs and all kinds of stuff. And he was the villain in it. Uh, like he wanted to one? kill the dog. The dog. Yeah. It's Wonder Dog. This is Underdog. Why would they call it Underdog? Wonder Dog? This is Underdog. This movie is Underdog. I swear to you, it's Underdog. He was in it, and he was a villain. <laughs> it was really, really, We're really bad. We're talking about a movie. dog with a cape that can talk. Yeah. Wonder Dog. Underdog. Wonder Dog. We'll see who's the winner when we look it up after this. But, yeah, yeah. The, um, Peter Dinklage is in the X-Men Days of Future Past. And that's exciting news. Back to this Wonder Dog thing. If I'm right, I want a, I want a separate YouTube video posted online of an official apology to me saying that I was right and you're wrong. Okay. Well, All right. I'm not even. I don't even want you to do anything because I know I'm right. So it's Underdog. He says it's Wonder Dog. He's an idiot. Okay. Uh, next thing is. Uh, our comic picks of the week. <laughs> it's so calm. <laughs> I was trying to think, is it really Underdog or Wonder Dog? I don't know. Our top comic picks of the week I'm looking forward to are, the one, Justice League of America, issue number one. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be awesome. Um, kind of been looking forward to that a lot. And then also, I can't wait to get an Ohio variant cover. I'm excited for that. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of characters that I'm looking forward to, like Martian Manhunter. I'm really... This is exciting. He's going to be in that. Uh, green, the new Green Arrow. I'm really excited for them to revamp him up. And Vibe. Oh, Surprisingly Vibe's, enough. Isn't Vibe coming out next week? No, Vibe's uh, up next week. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, but I'm super excited that Vibe is... I don't know. He's still, I want to see where he goes because... He's such a bad character. Yeah, he's so terrible. <laughs> and they're trying to make him really, really awesome. Like Constantine. But also one that we've been talking about for... About two months now is Nova number one. Oh yeah, Nova number one is gonna be pretty great. Um, it's probably one of the best. Gonna well, I don't want to say it's gonna be. Yeah. It's one of the most comics I've been looking forward to. In Mar- yeah, in Marvel now because uh, you didn't read Marvel point one, Marvel now point one. No. They just like kind of introduced a couple of comics. They had an introduction to this one, and it's it's gonna be pretty interesting. I I can't really I really. You know, can't wait till to read this because I know he was an AV, he was AVX, and they made him a pretty cool character in there. He had a small part, but you know, I'm pretty excited to uh, to read this one. How about you? Um, I mean, I've discussed people on on the website before about this comic coming out and it having a personal tie to the to the author or to the writer. Um, I, I'm just excited for it. I'm gonna buy it. If it impresses me, I'll probably continue to buy it, but that's nah, still up in the air. Uh, let them know what the personal tie is. This is pretty interesting. Um, well, the writer... No writer. His name's not... His name's not interesting. Just go ahead. Alright. Dang it. I, I do this... I give this lecture all the time. Alright, well, the writer for the top, for Nova number one, the Nova title now... His son sadly died of cancer, and Nova is named the character Nova is named Sam, and it's based Alexander. Sam Alexander. Yeah, and it's based off of 
his son, who died. And also, if you like read some other comics that this author's done, like there's been a couple of Batman, Superman, there's been an Ultimate Iron Man where they mention a boy named Sam who has cancer, or they meet a boy named Sam who has cancer, or they get a friend of kid who has cancer named Sam. And he just he throws his son in there. I know a lot of people find it annoying, but at the same time, I think that's really cool that you know he keeps his son memory alive through these comics. You know. He's, I feel like this writer's going to put everything he's got into this one, and I feel like this is going to be a really, really good title. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm, you know, I never really liked the original Nova, but I feel like this is going to be pretty good. So, yeah. yeah. It's our next one. You know, our our next. No, our, oh. yeah, next on our list. <laughs> okay, well. Nightwing number 17. Which... Is post at the family. Yeah, and this is gonna be huge. It seems like Dick Grayson probably took the biggest hit out of the death of the family. I feel like. Well, it's what happens to the oldest child of every family? He yeah. feels responsible for this as his father. Yeah, and Damian Wayne's gonna be in this one to try to help him out through what's going on. And Which is funny that it'd be Damian who you know helps Nightwing out. Yeah. It, we'll, we'll see. I'm excited for it. Now, this one I don't want to talk too much about because I'm more excited to see what happens. I don't mm-hmm. want to jinx myself. My expectations high. So, uh, it will be great. I love my winning. And I just, no matter what, if his comics are bad or anyone bad. Or bad anyway, sorry. That, I just know it's going to be, this, this has got to be good. If not, I'll be so devastated. All right, well, these are the comics <laughs> that are coming out this week that... They're not our top picks, but they're just comics to look for, yeah. possibly be on the shelves. Adventure Time number 13. Mine, NGNT. Number 8. Number 8. Adventure Comics number 17. Batwoman number 17. DC Universe Presents number 17. It's going to be about Arsenal. Really excited about. It'll be awesome. Green Lantern number 17. Excited about. Because it, you know, wrap the first time. Or, oh, First Lantern. Yeah, yeah. Wrap the First Lantern. the first issue. That's going to be awesome. Yep. Green Lantern New Guardian, Wrath of the First Lantern. Green Lantern Core, number 17, Wrath of the First Lantern. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 17, Post Death of the Family. It has a really cool cover of Batman holding Red Hood's body oh, and in, yeah. in a puddle of blood beneath him is a picture of him holding Robin yeah, after the like death me. of the family. I'm just, in gonna, the family. I'm just gonna buy that just for the cover. That that looks awesome. Yeah. Um, Wonder Woman number 17, so excited for. Justice League number 17. Justice League number 17, Saga number 10, Deadpool number 5, Indestructible Hulk number 4, Savage Wolverine number 2, and Superior Spider-Man number... Wow. Superior Spider-Man number 4. And that's like I'm three issues that's came out in the past like four weeks, yeah. which is awesome. Awesome because the story is really good. We, I've always been in love with it, and now you're in love with it too. I would say in love with it. It's awesome. You say that every time, and you just love it. Because I don't want to jinx it. Gosh. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, but that, you know, that's our picks of the week. This is going to be a big week in comics, and I can't wait till Friday when we talk about, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, we'll also see you tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Oh, yeah. And uh, we get to talk about our whole recap of the Death of the Family. Yeah, you can click that, watch that. It's it's going to be awesome. I'm excited for it. Uh, talk about this great, of probably one of the best New 52 events so far. Yeah, but so. as we say, it's going to come out tomorrow. Granted, we are still at school, and our school's Wi-Fi is not the best. So if it doesn't come until Thursday morning, don't hold that against us. That's beyond our control. Yeah, but we are definitely going to try to get it there on that Wednesday for you guys. So yeah. Excited. Yeah. All right. Well, as usual, check us out on our website. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Um, if you have any comments, leave them just read it up. Sorry. Leave a comment below. Um, what else? Um, rewatch our videos a million times. Yes, do that. Um, <laughs> like us on Facebook. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter, please. That'd be, that'd be nice. Um, yep, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that's all. Great episode. All right, Eric, so see you guys tomorrow.